Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids. In this particular factoid, we'll be addressing the issue of the recovery position and, in fact, the management of a diving injury. We got the following question from a diver. We have just completed an online CPR and first aid as well as emergency oxygen for scuba diving course and heard that it's best to put an injured diver in the so-called recovery position on their left side because of the potential of a, a patent foramen ovale. Is this true and what would be the benefit? Well, I'm going to address this really at three different levels. The first is by having a person lying on their side, whether it's right or left, already has the benefit of protecting their airway to some extent. If they were to, for instance, vomit or um, uh, lose control of their airway or have a seizure, then by lying on their side, you are giving them the best chance of maintaining an open airway. The second thing is that if there is a collection of gas in the heart as such, by allowing that gas to lie, if you will, on the roof side of the right ventricle. In other words, if the person's lying on their left side, the gas, if there's a gas pocket, would collect uh, on the roof or the upper side of the right ventricle. The benefit is that you are less likely to get what we call a ball valve situation, which means that the heart is unable to pump blood through because there's essentially a big bubble in the way. By moving the bubble to the side, the heart is still able to effectively or at least more effectively continue pumping blood out. And lastly, we get to the issue of a potential patent for ovale or even an atrial septal defect, which is more than a patent for ovale. In other words, it's not potentially pro-patent, it's actually a hole. And in that case, yes, by encouraging gas to remain on the right side of the heart, where it still has a chance to go through the pulmonary filter, one is avoiding or at least lessening the chance of gas moving through to the systemic or the left side of the circulation where it will be going to the head, um, in other words, the brain, or even to, to the coronary blood vessels. So by having the person on their side, you're really doing three things. Protecting their airway, keeping the gas away from the valve, and so allowing the heart to be more effective, and preventing a potential shunt. I could lastly add that by having them lying down, the chances are also slightly less that the bubbles will be circulated upwards according to buoyancy into the brain or the cerebral circulation. So the bottom line is, yes, you're right on the mark. Treat the individual in the recovery position and yes, preferably on the left side. Thank you for that question. Until next time, safe diving.